always remember that you can zoom and pan. The normal tables are round and color coded. For example, all the ears are pink. The square tables are special. They are assigned automatically based on the file type. You can double click on a file to open it or right click for more options. You can visualize the files in a more compact way using the file menu. To close the file level and go back to the tables level, you can click on the X here or here or just click in the void. Now let's have a look at the combine feature. Let's say that you want to find all the Excel spreadsheets related to Yellow-Blue-Soft. What you do is you select the square table for the Excel spreadsheets, the XLS which is inside the five types category. Then select the table called Yellow Blue Soft. Now you can right click on any of the selected tables and choose Combine the two tables. Or you can use the Combine button on the Direct Manipulation tool up here. Now you're looking at the combination of the Yellow Blue Soft table and the XLS table. This means that you're looking at all the files linked to both the table XLS and the table Yellow Blue Soft. On the right side of the window we have the suggested tables list. You can add any of these tables to the combination to further refine your search. Let's say that you want to see all the Excel spreadsheets related to Yellow Blue Soft and to the year 2009. In order to combine the table 2009 with the tables Yellow Blue Soft and XLS, you can right click and select Combine this table with those already open or using the Combine button on the Direct Manipulation tool or select the table and click on the Combine button up here. You're now viewing the files in tables 2009, Yellow Blue Soft, and whose extension is XLS. OK. Let's say that now you want to see all the Excel spreadsheets related to Yellow Blue Soft and the year 2010. So we send this table back to the suggested tables list. and we bring 2010 up. Here we go. You can navigate through your latest searches using the back and forward button or the recent button. Let's try.
But now, what happens if I rename or remove my files? Let's try. I now renamed the file and moved it. Let's go back to where we were before. You see, the file is still there with its new name, but still categorized exactly as before. Thank you for watching.